So welcome back again. This is Shardul Gavande from Ace Knowledge and today in this video we are going to see part two of our practical number six which is dialogue. So here this dialogue means alert dialogue. So what exactly is this? So it is a kind of an alert message which comes on our application whenever we try to submit any any form to the server side or if we try to delete a particular file or an image then it asks us for a confirmation whether are you sure you want to delete or are you sure you want to proceed with it and there are two options yes and no so that is nothing but an alert dialogue which comes in our android app so we would be performing this alert dialogue message so let's jump into our android studio here i've already created a project and we'll take we'll design uh we'll take an edit text and a button and on click of that button we will show our alert dialog so let us remove this constraint layout first we'll take a linear layout and we'll set the origin uh, orientation of our linear layout to vertical we'll remove this text view we'll go into the design we'll take a plain text Select it, drag and drop, and over here we would remove this name, put as Android colon hint as enter your name. So this is our edit text. We will set some, we'll take it to the center. So we'll put it as Android colon layout margin top. We'll give random 100 dp and it's fine now next we would drag and drop a button select and put it below the edit text we'll do this width as wrap content and we'll have it in onto the center so layout underscore gravity to center we'll give an id proper id to it so let us give it as alert or oh, we'll keep it as alert and the text to the button will give us submit so we have added text uh, and button over here so okay so let's put some more margin margin top to our button we'll give 100 dp okay so we have done with the design part now let's jump into our main activity dot kt file over here and we need to first of all bind our gui component with the dot kt file which we have seen in our earlier videos if not so there is a video of data binding so do watch that videos and in almost every video we have done this binding part so let's uh, do it once again so i'll declare a variable first variable as submit okay and i would bind it to the button which i have created b u okay button and from where it is coming so r dot id dot the id of button which is alert so let's type here alert and import the header files alt enter import and this button widget got imported over here so now we need to call the button on click listener method so using the variable submit dot set on click listener this one and under this now we would have so on click of button we need to have our alert dialog so we need to build our alert dialog right so for that let's create a variable again val and give it a name as simple alert simple alert equal to we have alert dialog alert dialog dot builder alert dialog dot builder so where do i want this alert dialog builder so in my activity or simply this application so that is the reason we would part pass it as this and we would call dot create method so we created a variable 
alert dialog dot builder where in this activity and created so dot create now use this variable simple alert for uh, to design our alert dialog so a, a, a dialog has been created alert dialog is created now so we need to de design this alert dialog as in to set the title of our alert dialog then the buttons positive negative buttons so those we would do over here in this on click listener activity on click of button using the variable simple alert which we created just now so simple alert dot we have first would we'll set the title so set title of our alert dialog so we'll give it as confirmation next we would use it again simple alert dot we would set the message now set message so the message would be do you want to proceed okay so this is my message next again i would use it and now i would set my buttons for my alert dialog interface or alert dialog box so set button and so there are three buttons all together positive negative and neutral so positive would be yes negative would be as no neutral would be as can't say so let's set this so we would set only two buttons as of now so set button where into the alert dialog so that is the reason alert dialog dot button first would take it as positive okay and we'll give the text for this positive button as yes so now you can see here there comes an error as on this set button so it says that this none of the following functions can be called so you can see this dialog dialog interface so for every red line there is a dialog interface on click listener so what exactly is this so set but we have alert dialog builder created over here okay it is just a box as of now what we want some gui components on our alert dialog box so the gui components would be this title message which we set then this button so this title message button all this makes a uh, look and feel of this alert dialog builder so we created here alert dialog which is nothing but just the box part and the gui components of it are nothing but this title message button so for our button which we uh, which we have created in our activity underscore main xml file so it was submit and we fired this set on click listener for our button which is there on our activity or our, or on our application but for the button which are there on our dialog alert dialog so we need to call this dialog interface okay in order to make this set buttons or buttons which are there on alert dialog make workable so let's now call that dialog interface will open and close what i did i'll show it again so open and close curly braces and under that we would have our dialog interface so dialog so this one dialog colon extends dialog interface okay and now under this we would print or simply show a toast message so toast dot make text and this comma you said yes and we would have this toast dot length long toast dot length long dot show so we are showing what exactly you can show anything so i'm here showing that you said yes or you can even navigate to any other activity once he clicked on yes or if he clicks on no so this was for the positive button now we need to do the same thing for a negative button okay so we will have here as simple alert dot set button alert dialog dot button negative comma the text would be this time no and again open and close and here we would have our dialog interface and toast 
dot make text from this application comma the message you said no and toast again dot length long dot show so two buttons positive button and negative button and after this we need to show our simple alert this alert dialog so that is the reason simple alert dot show okay so now uh, we have this and over here it shows to the dialog as parameter dialog is never used so this dialog we can even used make a use of it if we want to close our dialog uh, dialog inter dialog interface on click of any button uh, for example if positive or negative so we can have as dialog over here below this we can have it as dialog and we would say as dismiss okay so dialog dot dismiss would basically close the entire dialog alert dialog so here it shows an error as only okay only safe or non asserted are allowed so we can put here as question mark and it would work so dialog dot dismiss using this dialog dot dismiss would simply close your alert dialog okay so as of now i don't want this so since we are not using we would put this uh, or we would rename this to underscore so since dialog is we what we what was the requirement to just get this dialog interface for set button okay so dialog we are not using it so we would rename it to underscore over this here also you could rename it to underscore or you can keep it not an issue and we'll save this and now we'll run so there is some error over here i can see okay there is one extra i guess closed now we'll select our emulator and okay so here is our application opened and it asks for enter your name and i'll enter my name over here as shardul and on click of this button submit button i should get an alert dialog right so let's click on the submit button and here we get an alert dialog as with title as confirmation which we set then the message the set message which we would which we set as do you want to proceed and the two buttons positive and negative yes and no so if i click on yes i get a toast message you said yes again if i click on submit alert dialog if i click on no i get a message you said no okay so that's how alert dialog works in android that's it from this video thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe